you can use built-in Windows tools and command line methods to remove a virus without using traditional third-party antivirus software. Here is a step-by-step -step guide on how to remove virus without antivirus. Use safe mode to prevent malware from running. Safe mode is a diagnostic startup mode in Windows that loads only essential drivers and services, preventing most malware from running. Open system configuration. Press Windows plus R. Type MS configuration and press enter. Enable safe boots. In the boots tab, check safe boots and select minimal. Click apply, then OK. Restart your computer. Windows will now boot into safe mode, which is a black background with safe mode in corners. Now let's clear temporary files to prevent reinstallation. Open command prompt. Type cmd in the search bar and run command prompt as an administrator. Deleting temp files can stop malware from being reloaded from temp folders. Type del, which deletes specified files. S, deletes files in all subdirectories. F, forces deletion of read-only files. Q, runs the command in quiet mode. Drive C, Windows, temp. This command deletes all files in the temporary directory, including those in subdirectories. Now type del, S, F, Q, drive C, users, username, app data, local, temp. On execution, this command deletes all temporary files to the temp folder of currently logged in user. Check host file for redirections. Malware can silently modify the host file to redirect you to fake websites or block security updates. Type Notepad, Drive C, Windows, System32, Driver, ETC, Host. The default Windows host file is mostly empty except for this line. If you see suspicious entries, like an IP linked to a commonly used website. This could mean the website is being redirected to another IP. You can fix it by resetting the host file. Type Dell Drive C Windows System32 Drivers ETC Host. If malware or a program has modified the host file, to redirect website. Deleting it erases those changes. Now let's renew and restore the host file. Type echo 127001 localhost drive C Windows System32 drivers etc host. This command renews the host file with just one line that maps localhost to this line. This ensures malware isn't controlling web traffic. The next step is to reset the browser to default. Resetting your web browser removes any changes made by malware, restores default settings, and clears cache data. Open your web browser. Click on the three dots at the top right corner of your web browser. Navigate to your browser settings or preferences. Find the reset or restore option. Look for options like restore settings to the original default. If a browser hijacker modified your homepage, search engine, or installed root extensions, resetting your browser terminates any malicious changes made. Now let's identify suspicious processes in Tax Manager. Malware often disguises itself as legitimate processes while consuming system resources. Open Tax Manager. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape to open the Tax Manager directly. Look for suspicious processes. Check for unknown or high CPU or RAM usage processes that don't match installed software. Right-click on a process 
and select search online to see if it's legitimate. You can also choose to verify the file location. Right click the process, select open file location. If the file is in an unusual directory, for example, hidden folders or temp files, it might be malware. If by any case, you identify a suspicious process, end the process and remove it by right-clicking it and selecting end task. Navigate to the file location and delete the file permanently. Highlight the file and press shift plus delete on your keyboard to delete it permanently. For the record, this file is not a malicious file. It is only being used for the illustration. Empty the recycle bin as well. Run the full system scan with PowerShell. Type PowerShell in the search bar. and run PowerShell as an administrator. Type start np scan scan type full scan. This performs a deep scan of all files, running processes and system locations where malware may hide. If malware is detected, Defender automatically removes or quarantines it. You can check the scan results by typing get mp threat detection. Action success indicates the remediation action was successful. AMP product version is a version of Windows Defender used for the scan. Cleaning action ID indicates the action taken. ID 9 means removal. Current threat execution status ID 1 means the threat was detected but is not actively running anymore. Detection ID is a unique identifier for the detection instance. Detection source type ID 3 indicates the threat was detected from a file scan. Process name is the infected file that the malware was executed through. Resources is the suspicious file detected. Threat ID is a unique identifier for the detected malware. You can use the ID to look up the threat type. Threat status ID 106 means threat was removed successfully. On completing all stages, boot your computer back to the default mode. Open the system configuration. Press Windows plus R and type MS configuration and hit enter. In the boot tab, uncheck save boot. Click apply and then OK. Restart your computer. Windows will now boot into default mode.